No, I'm not actually here. Okay. I'm not actually part of ARCOS uh, this semester. I have been in the past. My name is Preeti Kumar. I'm here with uh, UPE or Upsilon Pi Epsilon. For those of you who don't know what it is, it's the Computer Science uh, Honor Society on campus. And I'm here to talk about Rensselaer Open Course Schedule or Horror Rocks. Uh, basically, what it was supposed to be is a replacement for RPI Scheduler. I'm not sure how many people uh, here have actually used Rocks, but it's also integrated with SIS, which RPI Scheduler didn't have. So, this was supposed to be a really nice way of taking what RPI Scheduler had and making it a lot easier for uh, students to use by showing all the classes in their updated versions with the number of seeds, and hopefully soon we want to also allow people to register through Rocks. Uh, I'm going to show you a quick demo for anyone who hasn't seen it. So, sign in. Do you mind if I use mine? No, go ahead. <laughs> and we have it on video. <laughs> <laughs> so you click on RPI scheduler, uh, you start using rocks, and then as you people can see, it's very clunky, it's not the best. There are a lot of tabs, first you choose your semester, these buttons are all kind of hidden, and um, once you search your classes, you have to go to selected courses and click continue, and there's a lot of stuff going on here that is functional, but it can look a lot better. So basically what I'm here to uh, talk to you guys about is for anyone who still needs a project, this is a really cool project to work on. There's a lot of stuff to do, specifically UI, and there is some backend stuff that's been trying to get better, but it's not as necessary since it is uh, functional right now. Things like integrating it so that people can register through there. Um, we also need a lead for the project if anyone's interested. If not, we can arrange for someone else to do that part and you can just work on whatever you want. As you saw, the UI is really, really bad right now. That's the thing we've gotten the most complaints about. But this would look awesome for a resume because it is something that is through the school and we're actually talking to SIS and all. Uh, we're talking to .CIO about this. So it's a great thing to put on your resume that you're working on a tool that the entire school is supposed to be using for their scheduling needs. Um, does anyone have any questions? And if you are interested in either uh, UP or Rocks, that's my email address. Questions? Oh, I just want to add that I think um, UPE is actually a fantastic opportunity to get, to get involved in computer science stuff on campus. And I think this would be a, a great project for someone who's not looking for a project. And you could be become the project lead, which I think is pretty exciting. Project for someone who's not looking for a project. Sorry? You said a oh, for, for someone who is looking for a project. If you're not looking for a project, then you shouldn't be looking. <laughs> I guess since uh, I posted on the email heard about this related, so is there particular reasons why it's been in Java? And because personally, I'd rather not do like web dev, for example, on Java through Java. And is there any specific implications that reasoning why it's not in Java? I was not part of the original design for this. Uh, it was forked, actually, yeah. from the original RPI scheduler. So it actually used that code base um, and turned it into a web app. That's why it's so heavily dependent on Java. But also, there is talk about changing that. So, uh, if, so if you're interested in that, that's also an option. Yeah, that's right. If you, uh, I think uh, that, uh, that UP group is fairly enlightened group, and it is agnostic about languages, I think. But uh, Yvonne, will be the point of contact, he was the project lead before. And to re-emphasize what Preeti said, I gave recommendations to, you, to the one of the developers of that to Google and he got a job and he, I have to tell what percentage of the job he did for the rocks project. He was also a point He's a, he's a regular Google employee now. He was uh, he graduated there a couple of years ago. He was working for Oracle and then This is a really awesome project to work on. I actually was hoping to be part of it myself this semester, but time restraints won't allow it. But if anyone wants to look at it, it really is 
pretty awesome. And I have the code on my computer, so if anyone is interested in just looking at the code or something, uh, you can come to me with questions and I'll point you to the actual lead of the project right now. It is also in the GitHub, but you can either code.google.com if you search for that. It is there in one of the previous R class projects. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.